Howdy guys, Mr. A2G here. This is a quick little video in my struggles with the 30 frames per second locked on seven days to die. This is for Alpha 20. So some of you guys have been vocal in uh, forums, fan pages, things like that um, with your issues with the locked 30 frames. So I also had that issue and I actually spent a little bit of time to try and work out what was the said issue. So what I want to do is I want to sort of take you through everything in terms of what I sort of did and played around with and this is what I've sort of come up with. Okay, as you can see in the left hand corner, um, you can see my frames are roughly around 100 frames per second. They sort of dip between 80, 70 and then they sort of go back up to 100 frames. So the way that I did this, let's jump into the options video. Now, I'm going to start with the dynamic mesh option. So I did do some research with this, uh, sorry, with this as well. And I noticed that a lot of people had mentioned to switch off your dynamic mesh enablement, which for me, okay, that didn't work to begin with, but I've left it off for now because I didn't want to sort of screw around, uh, sorry, screw around with this as much. So um, I've switched it off, left everything as they are. And then from there in the, uh, the UI side of things, I've pretty much left everything um, as stock standard instead of the uh, Fahrenheit uh, temperature unit. I've changed it to Celsius because Aussie, right? Anyway, so we'll move on from there. Now, this is all subjective, um, how you want to do your quality um, setup. Uh, that's entirely up to you. Now, I haven't really played around with it ab above to what I've just done and worked out for myself. So, um, again, this comes down to your rig, um, you know, whether you've got a higher end, lower end, something in between, this will sort of work out for you guys. So I started off with um, high settings and then I sort of um, changed a couple of things, which obviously went to a custom preset, as you can see here. So um, I've left everything as they are. Didn't change anything on this end here. Um, didn't change anything on this end here. But what I've changed is pretty much all this here. Okay, so I've switched off bloom, depth of field, and most importantly, uh, motion blur. So what you can see here is that um, if you just hover your cursor over the um, the name itself, it tells you a brief description and what type of um, performance impact it's going to give your PC, uh, so on and so forth. And then for here, I left everything on. Now, the biggest thing for me that actually enabled the frames per second to go over 30 frames now remember even making these changes here still left me at 30 frames locked so i went over to display now i left the resolution as it is full screen as it is this is where i changed it the dynamic resolution mode it was stuck on i believe it was um scale so i went to auto and i've left it ever since and everything from thereafter i noticed that it just became uh, sorry, the 30 frames became uncapped. It worked for me. Hopefully that works for you. And also sw uh, switched off V-Sync just for good measure, okay? So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to get out of that there. Um, and let's pretty much um, go back into the world here. As you can see, uh, the textures here are looking really, really nice. Look really, really good. And as I'm sort of um, moving along, you can see the frames in the left-hand corner just for reference. Here's a Zambi here. So let's go ahead and kill this Arlene real quick. You can notice there was a slight bit of um, dip in there. So I think I might have to do a little bit more of optimizing. But hopefully this will sort of give you guys a bit of a good stepping stone to sort of get your um, uh, seven days to die game back up to where it should be um, beforehand, uh, you know, like in Alpha 19. So it is an Alpha. It is going to have some performance issues and things like that as it's not fully optimized. But... Hopefully this will get you guys on the right path. If you guys have your own tips, drop them in the comments. So at least that way you can let me know exactly what you guys have done, but also let other people know at the same time as to what they can do for their own rigs. Alrighty guys, if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like, comment down below. And if you want to see a series of seven days to die, I currently do that. So jump into my channel, subscribe if you like it, and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, take it easy, and I will see you in another video.